text version of this tutorial and link to the source code in the description. When setting up your pixel art project, there are three areas of configuration that are worth looking at. Texture import settings, viewport settings, and pixel snapping. First, let's talk about texture import settings. By default, when you load a sprite into a scene in Godot, you'll see it blurred. To fix this, select your texture and go to the import tab. From here, you can either select the 2D pixel preset or just turn off filtering. You will then need to click re-import to update the texture in Godot. After this, your sprite should update itself in the editor looking crisp and pixelated. For convenience, you can also select set as default for texture under presets so that all future imported textures will apply the same settings automatically. Next, let's talk about viewport settings, which is something every project should have configured anyways. Depending on your specific project, you may want to use a fixed render resolution to prevent subpixels from showing up when someone scales your game. These subpixels occur when the window resolution is a non-integer multiple of the base resolution of the game. To prevent this from happening, open your project settings under the project dropdown at the top of your screen and go to the window tab under the display category. From here you can set the render resolution of the game with the width and height properties. Ultimately, these values will depend on your own project's goals, but as a rule of thumb you can use 640x360 or a sub-resolution of that, such as 320x180 as your base resolution to ensure pixel-perfect scaling on the most common monitor resolutions. Then for testing purposes, you can set test width and test height to something larger so that the game will open in a larger window. You may also want to uncheck resizable to lock the window size and let the player change their window size in the game settings. At the bottom of this window, you can configure the stretch settings, which is where you tell Godot what to do when the game is scaled, since it's not a great idea to assume everyone will play the game in a tiny 640x360 window. First, we'll set the mode to viewport, which will make Godot always render the game at the resolution we set above. With the resolution locked, Godot will default to stretching the rendered output to fill the window when the game is scaled to any size and any aspect ratio. To prevent this from happening, we'll configure the aspect property. What you choose here will vary depending on your game. Keep will make sure the aspect ratio is always the same as what you set for the resolution, showing black bars around the game as needed. Keep width will limit the viewable area along the x-axis, but expand the viewable area along the y-axis as needed. Keep height will limit the viewable area along the y-axis, but expand the viewable area along the x-axis as needed. Expand will show additional space along whichever axis is larger. The last setting we can look at is Use GPU Pixel Snap, located under the 2D tab in the rendering category. Checking this can help prevent flickering and other graphical artifacts in your game that you might see when moving sprites or using tile maps. I generally like to go ahead and check this when setting up a pixel art project. And that's how to get your pixel art games looking more pixel perfect. In addition to what I've shown here, there's a few other resources you might find useful. The first is the official Godot documentation on supporting multiple resolutions. The other is a video by Heartbeast on using a shader to make your games look more pixel perfect if you want to be more flexible in your supported resolutions and aspect ratios than what I showed you in this video. Link to both are in the description.